Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am scrapbooking with some Brutus Monroe products and I'm going to be scrapbooking some of the gnomes in our house. So I have a couple of things. I have two mixed media stencils. I also have the Crafty Elves stamp set and a little bit of a plan. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I'm starting out with some aqua pigment and I am just doing the kissing technique with a, an acrylic block. What that's gonna do is give me lots of aqua pigment down on my paper in a quick amount of time. So I use uh, some red and some green and because Aqua pigments are a watercolor and I am not saturating the paper. They are going to be a little bit pale. Um, I'm also going to bring in some modeling paste and uh, tint it with a little bit of black aqua pigment. I'm going to go ahead and use that stencil and just use my Raven Detail ink to get some crisscrosses all the way across where I have the mixed media and then I'm going to grab the tiny little circles and push some of that uh, modeling paste through. So now I have this great mixed media background that is ready to go. Just has to dry a little bit so we're going to put that off to the side and work on the top of the layout without it actually being on the layout. Um, so I have taken my three photos and I decide that I don't like them just straight across the page in four by six uh, format. I decide that I need to make them a little bit thinner. So I go ahead and do that and place them on the upper third of the page. And then also I felt like it needed a little bit of a border around the edge. So I go ahead and take my pen and do a sketchy little border. I was using my stamps as trying to kind of figure out where I wanted to put my embellishment. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a stamp pos positioner tool to stamp out um, a bunch of uh, stamped images. So I am using my Raven Detail ink yet again. So I've got these really cute elves. Uh, one of the elves has a ruler and one of them is opening a package. So I'm going to go ahead and use those as my main decoration. And then of course I also have some of these presents. Now I am using the aqua pigments to paint in my images. Again, I am not a fancy painter uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I put on colors that I like and make it happen. Um, so my packages will be uh, very Christmas colored uh, with green packages and big red bows. Uh, even though I don't always wrap my packages that way, I really do feel that that is just going to scream Christmas at you. So... Since my background is a little bit uh, more, I won't say subtle because there's a lot going on in my background, but it's it's a little bit um, not as bright in your face colors because they're not uh, saturated and concentrated like they are here um, where I'm painting, uh, painting in the lines, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get these bad boys all painted in. Now the good thing about the stamp set is that there are uh, multiple elves uh, that are doing uh, various activities and you can kind of mix and match them to apply to whatever project you are going to do. Now look at that. Look at that red and green package. Ah, oh, makes me so happy. You guys, I love Christmas so much. Okay. <sighs> I, I, let, I let my excitement out just a little bit just let it out just a little bit okay now I will say that um, 
as you can kind of see, the packages over there are kind of off of my paper. That's because I wasn't paying attention uh, to where the stamps were in my position or tool. And I just kind of, you know, slapped that bad boy over and I was like, oops, it's not, it's not even, it's not even on the paper. So it's fine. It's fine. Like we don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Um, I am going to just color in these elves and I know that um, it's a lot of red and green. So if traditional red and green is not your Christmas jam, you can color these bad boys in any way you want, which is awesome. That's the great thing about using stamps to embellish your pages and to decorate with. When you stamp them, you don't even have to stamp them in black ink. You can stamp them in whatever color ink you want. And you can color them in whatever way you want. So if you want it uh, more of a traditional look, uh, kind of like this, where I've got it stamped in black ink and using lots of red and green, you could do that. If you want it to go um, with another kind of look, you could stamp it in a different color. Um, you could just do like tone on tone. Um, you could stamp it so that it would be like basically a no line watercolor where you stamp it with like a pale, um, pale almost vanilla color and then go ahead and um, color in your, your image that way. The possibilities are endless when you're using stamps to create your embellishment, and I really appreciate that. Now, I am going to fussy cut these bad boys out. There are coordinating uh, dies for these stamp sets. Um, I don't mind fussy cutting. I don't always get the dies for the stamp sets, um, but these were not terrible to fussy cut out. So I just went ahead and did that. Now when you're fussy cutting, you do want to make sure that you're holding your cutting hand as still as possible and using that other hand that is holding on to the item that you are cutting, uh, moving that one instead. So now I'm just going to figure out where I want the decorations to go. Ultimately, I decided that the elves on the top of the photo stack, like stacked on top of that photo line was not going to work for me. Um, so I am just creating on that diagonal line that I created with the mixed media. Decide to put a bunch of presents up at the top. Some of them are up on pop foam. Some of them are not. Um, and now I am using a variety of letter stickers for my title to be How Big Is That Gnome? Um, because we do have a huge gnome in our blue chair. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the product list down below, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.